We all love to camp with our dogs, but in this video, I'm gonna talk about times that you really can't take them with you, and then times where you really shouldn't take them with you. And in that part, I know it's gonna ruffle a few feathers, but I'm gonna say it anyway. They wanna be with us all the time, but let's face it, sometimes it's just not feasible. They wanna be as close to us as possible. I mean, look at that, pitiful. Sometimes you can't take them with you. I have gone to a couple of trailer rallies and the venue is inside and there's no dogs allowed and I camped solo, so I just couldn't do it. The rally in Terlingua had an outdoor venue, but the park where we stayed was about three miles from Big Bend. And that leads me to my next point. Pets are not allowed on the hiking trails in the national parks. You can take them on the areas where it's paved, like in the campground areas, but any of the hiking trails, they are not allowed. And I would have loved to take in the poodles here to the Big Bend area to frolic around in the Rio Grande, even though it was rugged, but there you is. can't do it. Now I'm going to tell you, in my opinion, why you shouldn't take your dogs camping. If you're not willing to keep your dog on a leash like the rural state, don't bring your dogs camping. And number two, aptly named, if you're not a pooper picker upper, don't bring your dogs camping. I'm pretty sure this was raccoon scat, but we found another little surprise that I don't think it was raccoon scat. This little turd tower was definitely something else. Another reason not to bring your dogs along with you is if you plan on doing something like kayaking where you just can't take them with you, you know, I know that a lot of people do that, but having two poodles with just one person is just not feasible. And I know they have the monitor systems that you can put in your camper, but having a small camper, it's just not gonna work for me with two large dogs. You know, maybe if I had a big diesel pusher, it would work, but no way with the small one. I think, you know, Jeep would tear that camper up. Gemma is a barker and she'd eventually settle down, but I just can't do it. Rover.com is an option if you want to go do things and leave your dog in the camper or have your dog at someone's house. I think they're bonded people who will watch your dog, you know, for a certain amount of time, and that's an option. And you should leave your dogs at home sometimes because sometimes it's just nice to get away. I have a lot of poodle paraphernalia that I have to prep. If y'all have watched my videos before, you know they eat a raw diet. I have to prep all this. They eat a pound of food a day, and that's a lot to pack up. I swear they have more stuff than I do. Sometimes it's just nice to be out in the wilderness by yourself.